All right, everybody, today we're going to be taking a look at the Snaptane SP500 foldable drone with GPS. We want to thank Snaptane for sending this out to review. And I think, I believe, this is their first foray into GPS type stuff. So it's got a 1080p camera, GPS mode, waypoints, point of interest, follow me, gestures, one key takeoff and land, return to home, addy mode, headless mode, and of course it's foldable. And of course it has that exquisite Snaptane packaging that everybody has come to know and love. So why don't we get it out of the box and check it out. Okay, here you go. The stuff is out of the box. The miracle of trick photography. Okay, so here it is. Now before I go forward here, I just want to say one thing about Snaptane. Uh, these are the nicest people that I've ever worked with as far as doing this quadcopter reviews nobody is even close to them everybody working there is super nice they treat you real nice when they communicate with you with the emails and everything so I give a big props to these people uh, for their niceness <laughs> okay not their meanness they're all super nice believe me very nice people okay here's the stuff here's the quadcopter it's foldable so we're gonna unfold it Let me do a quick pop a battery in here. Oh, upside down. Dumbo. Let me throw it on the scale real quick. Two hundred and twelve, so you're safe. You don't have to do anything. And if the prop guards aren't that much, believe me, they're a couple of few grams each, so that wouldn't even put it over so you're good with that so you get the quadcopter looks real cool nice there's your antenna your Wi-Fi antennas at the bottom there's some lights front and back here's the camera it tilts I don't hear any motor in there so it's just manual tilt so you probably wanna turn it up a little hair when you're shooting outside because it's going to dip when you make the turns and stuff so you probably want to have it turned up just a smidge you get two 1000 milliamp 7.4 volt batteries which is nice see Saptane has put all these other toy makers on notice now with always putting in these extra batteries and chargers now to compete with Saptane now they're going to have to start doing that you know, they're very shrewd of them to start doing this. There was a timer. I'm filling the pool. So, there you go. You get two batteries. You get three chargers, believe it or not. Okay. You get two for the two batteries. And then you get one for the internal battery of the remote. And it does not say on here the size of the battery in the remote, but it does say that it's a 3.7 volt. It's a lithium ion. It's not a LiPo. So you make sure you use the right charger. You can't just use any charger. These are de designed for lithium ion batteries. So I think it has something to do with the, the voltage that goes into them. So then you get a manual, which is right here, and the spare props, the prop guards, the screws for the prop guards, and that's what you get. So I'm going to turn it on. I'm not going to fly it in the house because we're going to go take this out and fly it as part of this video. It's not going to be just an unboxing. I'm going to take it out. Here's the on-off switch up here. It's powering up. Here's the on and off switch for the transmitter right here. Here's the uh, 
button here where you can turn the GPS on and off. There's your rates and your photo and video button here, but I'm sure this stuff is available on the app. So maybe you can just fly it without the app too, just in regular Addy mode, you can probably just not even use the app. Now it does have a micro SD card slot in here, but I'm not sure if it works or not. I haven't got around to checking that yet because I'm kind of leery of always putting them in. I've lost so many of them suckers by putting them in there and then they disappear if it's really not a micro SD card slot. And then they disappear in there and then you got to take the quadcopter apart to... Uh, to get him back out of there okay let's turn on the app real quick to find out uh, if there's any password or anything okay snaptain sp500 that's going to be the the wi-fi name see if I, you can see it right there up oh, right there and then you can go and load up the app. There is no password, so that's good. I hate them Wi-Fi, these passwords on these apps. The name of the app is called Snaptain Nova. So you want to just click that. And then it will give you an option of what quadcopter you want. We want the SP500. So we hit Start. Allow while use the... And there it goes. Oh, the video is very clear. The camera video is very clear. So you see that look at that I'm thawing out shrimp it's over there in the corner okay so <laughs> it says waiting for GPS signal so yeah it looks good man looks good there's all the options on there follow me that looks like an orbit type thing but we'll get out there and we'll figure it out when we get outside here's the record button um, your Wi-Fi strength your satellites your um, it looks like waypoints right there there's a, like some kind of VR mode so yeah looks good man looks good all right so let's get it outside and check it out here with the Snaptain SP 500 right here it is but we are waiting for a little bit of GPS action we're waiting for some GPS let's uh let's start some video how about that Okay, we got some we got some GPS. Let's take off. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. The Jeep video stopped. Okay, you hit the settings button and it turns the video off, so Nice. All right, flying good. All right. Let me go out here and take it up a little bit. Just try to hold it still so you can see what the video looks like.
All right. Okay, let's see if a little follow me action will work. And this will probably be like the other one where it'll follow the transmitter. Yes, that's what it's doing. But it works. That's all that matters. <laughs> and it keeps a decent distance. Let me try to walk closer to it. See if it goes backwards. No. Nope. Yeah, it does. It, it, put, it goes backwards. Or it changes direction completely. And... Oh, it just gets out of the way. Okay, so it's got like some kind of safety thing in there to where if you get too close okay that thing's gonna that thing's gonna mess up or not mess up but it's gonna get out of the way it's gonna get out of your way and that's a good feature you know not like the uh <laughs> what was that pro mark warrior that almost clobbered me in the head because i had it a little bit too low and it don't get out of the way and <laughs> it just comes right at your face you know but you know that was two-year-old technology this is high tech now you know now we're rolling in technology so <laughs> okay let's see what is this little feature okay that's a point of interest let me cancel it so I want to go up a little bit let me get over here a little bit try that again Point of interest, radius 5 or 10. I'll put 10 because I don't even know if it's 10 meters, 10 feet. Okay, it's 10 meters. Okay, actually that works pretty well. Okay, what well only does one revolution and then stops. Okay, just so you know that. It does one, you set the, you click on the little point of interest icon, you hit the, uh, the button, you, you put in, you input the numbers you want, that you want the radius, and it's in meters. So if I put 10, it would go 10 meters, it would do 30 feet, it would come back and then do a loop, uh, do a 360 but it only does it one time and stops not like a lot of the other ones it'll just keep going until you stop it this just does it one time and then stops so but that's okay no let's see here okay what is this I don't know what this one is no that's the take off and land Okay, here's the waypoints. So I'll do a little short waypoint here. Okay, so where I'm standing, or where the drone is, I'm going to go... I'm going to go up a little higher. Okay, for some reason it didn't do it. It just stopped for... Okay, low voltage on the drone, it says. Okay. So forget that. Well, I'm sure it would have worked if it wasn't for the low voltage on the quadcopter, so... 
Okay, I'm gonna cut the video now because I don't want to lose the video if it, the battery craps out. Okay, so I got like six minutes and something of video. That's the second rate, by the way. Let me try turning off the um, the GPS and just fly it in the Addy mode for a second. It's the same. It's still pretty steady. You know, it doesn't wobble around. You think it's it's very stable in the uh, GPS mode. Let me turn the rate down here. Okay. See, if there's no wind, this thing is pretty, pretty steady. But now you know if it gets, the battery gets low, it won't do the waypoints. Once the voltage goes down to a certain point, it won't do them, so. I'll put the flight time in there. Oh, it's doing a return to home on me is what it's doing. I'm trying to abort it because the battery's low, so it's wanting to come back home. Just stop, just stop. I'm just going to land it because I didn't know if it was going to run right into that, into that tree right there. So. Yeah, it was going to do a return to home there. You could see that. It just turned around and came right at me. But I, even though I, I think there was a setting in there where I had the height turned up. Um, let me see. Return altitude, 120 meters. And it didn't, uh, it didn't do that. It just came right at me. So, you know. Yeah, it's a toy quadcopter, man. They're not... Uh, these aren't DJI, okay? They're Snaptane. They're good for toy helicopters. But that's what they are. So, and you see the low voltage on the battery. I don't know what the flight time was. I'm guessing it was about nine minutes. So, you know, nine minutes is uh, not that hot um, for the battery. The battery size is a, a 1,000 milliamp hour. Uh, yeah, I know you're running video and GPS and all that stuff, but still, nine minutes. Probably not that hot. All right, I mean, it's an okay flyer. You know, it flies good. It just, you know, the flight time isn't that that great. And, you know, some of the stuff doesn't want to work once the voltage gets a little bit low. But other than that, it's okay. You know, it's okay. It's okay. All right, guys, you have a nice day, man. I'll talk to you later.